In today's video, we're going to two basketball games. The Lakers and the Knicks are the most storied franchises in the NBA. So we've put together five categories to see which experience is the best in basketball. Our first category is fans. So we brought in the top content creator of the Lakers, Mr. Aaron Cohen from Lakers All Day Ever Dead. If I get something wrong, you gotta cut it out. Okay. All right, Knicks trivia with what might be the biggest Knicks fan in the world. There's no might, I am. He is, he is. So if you don't get these questions, we're in bad shape. As a fan base, okay, so you, little, better, you better have. I'm it. a little worried. <laughs> All right, first question: How many championship banners have the Lakers hung? 17. What about in like an hour from now? 18. All right, how many ships do the Knicks have? Uh, Champions. Oh, 1970, 1973, both beat the Los Angeles Lakers. There we go. All right, and a little dig at the Lakers. I like it. Name the starting five from the bubble championship: the Mickey Mouse ring. It's not a Mickey Mouse ring. Dwight is right in there. Dwight. LeBron, AD. LeBron. AD. Was it Caruso in there? I think I know they, they moved him in, in one of the games. Caruso was not in the starting lineup. Is it Rondo? Not Rondo. Danny Green. Danny Green. The point guard. Wait, I got this. The point guard. Not a point guard. Who is it? He's a, now a two-time champion. He's now a two-time champion. Oh, it's uh, KCP. KCP. Wow. What a casual. Casual. I'm sorry. Which player is famous for the dunk? John starts game two of the 1993 Eastern Conference Finals. Name the four Lakers to have ever won an MVP in LA. Kobe. Kobe. Maddie Johnson. Magic. Kareem. Kareem. Who's the fourth one? Was he born before or after me? Five before. I was born in 99. Five. Uh, my one hint is it's very obvious and you don't need to overthink it. Oh, okay. Kobe and... Oh. Cut the whole pause out, Jack. <laughs> Come on. Who is the one Nick to win an MVP while on the Knicks? Willis Reed. There you go. All right. Name the five leading scorers in Lakers history. Kobe. Only for the Lakers. Kobe. Magic. Kareem. Shaq. Not Shaq. So, Kobe, Kareem, Magic. Magic. You need two more. These are old heads. Okay. One looks like uh, the NBA logo. Oh, Jerry West. And? Jerry West. The last one, James Worthy. Elgin Baylor. And most important, last but not least, which player is famous for scoring 63 points in a game? 63 or 62? He put 62. How many did he 62, score? 62, I would say Carmelo Anthony. That's correct. 2014 Friday. Even the trick question can't yeah. get his head. 2014 on a Friday night versus the Bobcats. Were you there? Of course. Two tickets right behind Spike Lee. Shut for up. For that game. I have pictures of me at that night. Put in the comment section, <laughs> casual or ball knower. Okay, let's, let's preface this that I'm 24 years Old. I was born in 99. You guys are following a fraud. I hate to say it. You know LA fans are very crazy themselves, but Knicks fans are clearly a tier above the rest. I mean, they celebrated an entire playoff series as if they had won the NBA title. It's time for category number two. Lakers fans, kind of casuals, but some true fans. We're going to check out the atmosphere and the arena of Staples Center, Crypto.com. Yo, this is crazy. Imagine just being in beautiful LA, a little chilly tonight, but we're in mid-December. I'm chilling on the balcony. It's a pretty cool setup. Let's head to the seats. So when I bought these tickets in section 333, I was a little worried it wouldn't be a good view, but look at this. And we're rowing. Eight. So honestly, you can probably say every seat's a pretty good seat in this arena. Okay, my Knicks have never won an IST. No one has. But I'm not gonna lie. Free shirts for the IST championship, pretty dope. Actually, because I'm a Knicks fan, I'll just give this one away. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the comment of why you should win this Lakers IST championship t-shirt. I'm not gonna lie. The Knicks would never. I mean, we never hang a banner. But if we got a banner for an IST, we wouldn't hang it. The only banner that gets hung in MSG is like Ed Sheeran, Justin Bieber, or some other guy who's really old. That's pretty dope. The players seem like they really care. They're literally like, get this thing off the court. I respect that. I respect that. That was dope, that was dope. Better intro than the Knicks for sure. Staples is iconic, the arena is gorgeous, but the atmosphere is lacking. Finalist number two. Let's go! Those are the best fans in LA, the Dogs. Gets possession, they do not. Lead for LeBron, here it goes!
What do we got? What do we got? What's better, the shirt or the calendar? <laughs> the shirt's better. First thing, fully padded in New York. No pads in LA. 15 seconds to tip and it's a pretty empty crowd. Wednesday night, I guess people got work to be at, but I don't know, we'll see if it fills up. Julia! Little light, but I'm expecting it to turn off. And here we go, here we go. Give me that. Oh my god, man. Who's he playing for? Oh, he went to Brazil. He's in Brazil. Marcelo's here. Who was the most famous person at the Laker game? I, I think it was just a dog. Let's go! Are you kidding me? Here's Green into the paint. Harden started the block. Randall for Ernanobi. As you can see, in Hollywood, they got the stars. In New York, they got the business people. And the business people head to the Delta Club at halftime. And they did not return until the fourth. And our first major decision comes down to arena and atmosphere. Now, we're basing this off of our experience on these two days. And the winner is going to be LA. Crypto.com is beautiful, and they give out free IST t-shirts. As someone with Knicks season tickets, the atmosphere wasn't nearly as electric as I expected, and I was kind of disappointed. And those padded seats weren't enough to take it over LA. Category three is food. I got an LA cheesesteak, whatever the f that means, and carne asada fries. Let's compare. I'm surprised this isn't vegan. That's pretty good. Little light on the cheese. LA people like to cut some weight. Overall, like a 6.8 out of 10. Now for the carne asada fries. You've got ground beef, jalapenos. I'm gonna do this like a man. Pretty good cheese fries. That's a good stadium dish though. 7.1 out of 10. Here's the LA food. Let's see how it stacks up against New York. MSG Stadium Food Review time. We got New York's finest, of course, a slice of pizza. But even cooler, true New York. This is new at MSG. It's the bodega. We got a chopped cheese from the Ock. With the Bev. There was no Ock in there, but we're, we're gonna try it nonetheless. All right, chopped cheese time. Let's go. I'm not from New York. I just lived here six years. I don't know the difference between a chopped cheese and a cheesesteak. It tastes like a cheesesteak. 8.5 out of 10. All right, slice of pizza. I'm not gonna lie. This is not New York's best slice, but I'm gonna judge it unbiasedly. Too much sauce. Too much sauce. I got too much sauce. I'm gonna go like a 6.1 out of 10 on that one. Overall though, the food at MSG is spectacular. The food category is easily going to New York. Madison Square Garden has the greatest stadium food in all of America. The cheesesteak in LA really never stood a chance to a chopped cheese and a slice of pizza in New York City. It's now two to one with New York in the lead and the next category is value. Being able to take the subway or walk to the game is an incredible way to save money as opposed to the very expensive and traffic ridden trip to crypto.com. But the fact that it's more expensive to watch Julius Randle than LeBron James is a bit ridiculous. Now pair that with the prices of food and drink at MSG, the value category definitely goes to Los Angeles. Next category is the product on the court. And honestly, it's probably gonna be the most heavily weighed category. So let's see some quality hoops. No stage university by oh, 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 my God. The nice thing about a Lakers game is you get to see LeBron suit up every time. But unfortunately, I just watched really brick one off the side of the backboard. And then that LeBron James miss a layup. Ryan goes right into the Prince and the Lakers take it away. Toe on the line that time with Reed. Defense, offense, throw it down. Oh, Jets hit. Jets hit. Behind the back for me. Three. And he's trying to get it. New York's got control of it. At the other end. Lakers fans leaving early, but the game's pretty much over. 30 seconds left, down seven. Products on the court by the Knicks, excellent by the Lakers, kind of mid. First quarter. Oh, Reed takes it inside. Oh, and it's for the Smith. Look at that. Rotation inside and slams it. Knicks are down two after that Jabari banger. Products on the court for the Knicks, fine, but the Rockets have definitely had a multitude of highlight plays. And then Julius Randle, bully ball, misses a bunny, travels, travels, pumps. That's the bunny. Nine turnovers and now off the steal. Here comes Steven Chancellor. Oh, yeah. Dishing off for Randle. Randle for Back at Snapback HQ, and it's time to decide what is the best experience in basketball. 
Finally, product on the court. I mean, this one speaks for itself. Just take a look at the standings right now. Not only did the Knicks beat the Lakers in LA and the Rockets at home, but they're actually starting to look like the favorites in the Eastern Conference. For all we know, our next snapback experience could be an NBA Finals game in Madison Square Garden. Congrats to the New York Knicks, who take down the 1v1 experience. Let us know which experience do you want us to do next, and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss it. Till next time, Snapback fam, much love, peace.